Vibrio vinificus, a deadly bacteria that you may not have heard of, but it could kill you if you eat raw seafood. The bacteria is found in brackish warm water, and although the cases are rare, the results can be deadly. It's really a concern for shellfish. It's found in shellfish. It's a bacteria in shellfish that um, during the summer months, so May to October is the time when you really have to worry about Vibrio. So these are ready for harvest. And uh, probably about 200 in this cage. And you won't really be able to identify if what you're eating has Vibrio. The executive chef at 83 West in Cedar Key says he's been working with shellfish for years and a bad oyster is hard to identify. Honestly, with Vibrio, you're not going to be 100% sure. And, uh, you know, it's not going to change the flavor of the oyster. And it's one of those things you need to be safe with, uh, make sure you don't have a compromised immune system. And but the state has a system in place where you can ask exactly where your seafood is coming from and when it was harvested. Well, the first thing they should do is if they, if they want to eat raw seafood of any kind, they should ask the, uh, the server where it came from. Um, and then they should ask if they don't feel confident, if they don't feel like the answer was good for the uh, shipping tag. So what exactly happens on the open water before the shellfish make it back to land and are sold to restaurants? We try to keep them in the shade. We try to do it as, as speedy as we can to get them from out there. Once we get them out of the water and up onto the land, you try to keep them in the shade, keeping them cool, getting them back to the, to the market in time so they can get them refrigerated and get them to the temperatures that they say that actually do keep them safe. There are also restrictions on the time of day. The oysters can be harvested depending on the month. I know like when the season first starts, I think most of the guys have to be in around, you have to be in around 10 or 11 o'clock to have your, have your oysters refrigerated to get them to a certain temperature by 11 or 12 o'clock. So and then as the season goes on, that time frame gets a little more and a little more. Being able to identify a healthy oyster could save you from making yourself sick. I mean a really healthy fat oyster would be almost cotton looking white and you would see a little bit of mud streaks on top of it and the meat would fill from shell to shell. And then so it's just floating in there by itself. It's not attached to the shell. And that's what a healthy oyster should look like. And if they were blue and green and look really watery, then I would be second guessing myself to eat them. In the state of Florida in the past couple of years, the number of cases and deaths have varied. In 2014, there were 32 cases and seven deaths. 2015, 45 cases and 14 deaths. And 2016, so far, there have been 29 cases and six deaths. So who exactly is at risk the most? According to the Florida Department of Health, individuals that are immunocompromised, meaning they have chronic liver disease, kidney disease, or weakened immune system, are more likely to have problems with it. A lot of the people that do get sick are just older people that already have problems that you're going to wind up being sick regardless, you know what I mean? It's not that the oyster, I mean it is that the oyster's done it, but it's what's in the oyster and then the health of the people. But if you aren't entering the water, there are ways to protect yourself with your eating habits. Cook the shellfish, then it kills the bacteria as well. So eating raw shellfish is really the, the risk.